Special thanks to Patreon supporter Hoya for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool for here bringing you guys another Minecraft Modern Warfare Bath to Build tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing a tutorial for the Suffren uh, Barracuda class submarine. The Barracuda class or Suffering class is a nuclear attack submarine designed by the French Shipbuilder Naval Group, formerly known as DCNS and DCN for the French Navy. It is intended to replace the Rubis class submarines. Construction began in 2007 and the first unit will be commissioned in 2020. The first uh, submarine being the Suffren. There's a total of six of these planned. They're currently building two and the only one's been completed, Suffren, in 2019 and should be getting commissioned this year if it hasn't already. Um, it's basically designed to be a uh, highly advanced uh, submarine, obviously being <laughs> fairly recently constructed using some of the most advanced technologies and all that stuff to basically make it a near silent submarine. Uh, from my understanding, it's actually claimed to be as quiet as the ocean. So, <laughs> kind of crazy. Um, don't know how much that holds up, but still a very interesting submarine. And it's our first ever French uh, submarine, and I think our first ever French kind of modern warfare BAFTA build. So, pretty cool stuff all around, and a uh, fun build nonetheless. It's been a while since we've done a submarine. So, uh, before we go ahead and jump into taking a look at the build, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter... Uh, Oh yeah, for recently becoming a patron supporter and uh, all that stuff. Uh, really do appreciate it. And if you are interested in supporting the channel where you guys are new, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn via card request you're choosing, uh, depending on which uh, tier you need to go, go ahead and just decide to uh, sub to. So it uh, really helps me out and is obviously much appreciated. So let's go and dive into taking a look here at the Suffren, see exactly what uh, we got going on for it and all that stuff. Now, one thing about the Suffren is it's kind of hard to build. Um, well, not really hard to build, but hard to find pictures in relation to it. As uh, there's only one, big, one that's been completed so far, and pretty much a lot of it is, you know, still really unknown, um, shape-wise and all that stuff. So, uh, very hard to find uh, good pictures of it, but, you know, kind of was able to build it from the best of my ability and using a collection of different uh, pictures and resources. Uh, but anyway, start off, we have obviously the nose here of the submarine. Pretty straightforward stuff. As we work our way back, we have our conning tower. And really, the submarines, there's really not much to talk about. They're basically just giant tubes with some fins and a tower, and that's pretty much it. Uh, but on the back here, we do have some stabilizers on the back and also the uh, engine on the back. So, again, real simple stuff, like nothing too crazy here, but uh, definitely a really cool submarine and our first ever French kind of modern warfare build. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, going ahead and getting started, we're going to be going ahead and starting off with our first layer. Now, one thing I want to go ahead and mention uh, straight off the bat is if you do want to build this submarine submerged, we will need to build this at a certain level. Now this layer 1 here is going to be basically one block underneath the surface. As you can see here we have this blue wool representing where the water level would be and we're going to build this layer in comparison. So this is if you want the submarine to be partially submerged, um, or actually sorry, fully uh, surfaced. Um, but if you want to build the submarine completely submerged then you know obviously note that this point is the lowest point of the submarine. So just make sure you give yourself plenty of room so that it stays underwater. Um, again, it may take some playing around to get the kind of depth you want if you're building this underwater, so just take that into account. Anyways, to begin with, we're going to be placing down a narrow brick top slab, followed by a black concrete block directly after it. After that black concrete block, we're going to go ahead and go back an additional 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 black concrete blocks back. So in total, you're going to have a row of 16 black concrete blocks with a narrow brick top slab here on the front. Going ahead and going to the back here, we're going to place down a narrow brick top side, coming off this black concrete block, and then coming off that narrow brick top side, we're going to place down a dark oak with trap door, and a second narrow brick top slab, like so on the end. Going to the sides, we're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick top slab on both sides of this black concrete block here toward the rear of the sub. And then going forward, we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Narrow brick upstairs stairs going forward, and then a narrow brick top slab here on the front. Same thing over here, narrow brick top slab, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 narrow brick stairs along the side. 
And once you have that done, that is going to complete your first layer here for the build. Um, actually, one last thing to add on is we do want to go and go from these top slabs. We're going to go and drop down and place my half slab on both sides here for the fins here for the stabilizers. Anyways, with that all done, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number one. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a black concrete block with a dark oak wood button. Now note that if you are building this sub in the water, um, some of these details will disappear, such as the skeleton skulls um, and I believe buttons also. So just take that into account when you're building that these little details that we have will disappear, but if you're building this out of water, um, you do, you're able to get a little more detail out of it. So don't be worried if you can't put in a skeleton score or anything like that, you're just going to have to go without it. Anyways, we're going to then place down a wooden skeleton score on both sides of this black concrete block. We're going to then place down a row of one and two black concrete blocks back, two narrow brick walls here on both sides like so. We're going to then place down a row of three of black concrete across, followed by a second, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 rows of three of black concrete going back. So just like that. Going back up here to the front, we're going to go ahead and go off of this second air brick wall. We're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door to both sides. And then going back from the dark oak wood trap door, we're going to place down two birch wood buttons on both sides. Now we get back to this point here, uh, we're going to place down a black concrete block here in the middle, followed by a second one back, and then we're going to place down two air brick walls on both sides like so. We then want to place down an brick slab here in the middle. Coming off the slab to both sides, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. We then want to place down a black concrete block. And then come off both sides of the black concrete block, we're going to place down two wither skeleton schools, and then one also come off this side here facing toward the rear. Once you have that all done, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number two for the build. With that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers, layers three and four. Alright guys, moving into our last five layers, we have layers 3 and 4. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a daylight detector here, followed by a narrow brick slab, and then a stone brick slab going back from the narrow brick slab. We then want to place down a narrow brick stair, followed by a row of 1, 2, and 3 black concrete blocks back. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 narrow brick slabs back, a stone brick slab, a narrow brick slab and a daylight detector like that going toward the rear here. Going ahead and going back up to the front, we're going to go to the side of the narrow brick stair here. We're going to place down a stone button on both sides. And we're going to also place down a stone button on both sides of this narrow brick slab. Uh, skip three spaces back, so one, two, three, narrow brick or stone button on both sides. Skip another two or another three spaces back and then a stone button on both sides like that. After that's done, coming off the daylight detector, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door. Make sure the trap doors are closed like so. And then coming off the trap door to the side, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab like that. Again, for our stabilizers. On the very back here, we're just going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on top of this black concrete block. After that's done, go ahead and go into the conning tower. We're going to place down a row of one and two black concrete blocks starting from the front, followed by a narrow brick wall like that on the end. On the very top here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood button, we're going to go into our creative menu, grab ourselves an item frame, place an item frame up on top here, and also a uh, black stained glass pane. And then from this, we're going to then place down a end rod on top of this black concrete block like that. And once you have that all complete, that is going to complete my tutorial for the French Navy's Suffren Barracuda class submarine. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to use this design, do I see you guys give me proper credit for this from anything from a side on the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear in your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, in addition, uh, begin to make special links to Patreon supporter Hoya for uh, joining on. And if you are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, links always in my video descriptions. And that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.